Hi everybody, Lori here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a colorful geometric project to share with you featuring the new Geo Flower Building stamp set that just came out in the Beautiful Days release. I love this stamp set and I knew there was gonna be so many options for creating geometric backgrounds. But uh, when I was searching on Pinterest, which by the way, you can lose a lot of your life Pinterest is a black hole, but I saw this print and it's a colorful geometric abstract shapes art print. I saw it on Society6 and they have different color versions. Like if you want to, you don't want such vibrant colors, there's more earthy tones. Anyway, I was inspired by that, what do you call that? Half circle, semi-circle. And there was that exact shape in the Geo Flower Builder stamp set. And I thought, what do you think, Laura? Are you up to the challenge and I thought well you know you never know until you try and so I stamped this geometric pattern with one single solid semi-circle that's a tongue twister one single solid semi-circle say that six times fast okay I'm going to be using all positively saturated inks I do use two Concord ninth inks stardust and buttercup but other than that they're all positively saturated if I don't mention the color which I probably won't because I'm going to be blabbing away uh, everything will be linked in the description box below if you're watching on YouTube all the colors and whatnot and they stamp beautifully sometimes I do stamp it twice to make it nice sometimes you only got to stamp it once but you do have to clean it each time and reposition it and okay so first thing first I looked at the pattern because I was drawn to the colors and I pulled out inks that were very similar not exact but similar enough um, I didn't use every single color that's in the print just the ones that yeah I didn't want to overdo myself uh, but uh then at some point you begin to break off and kind of create your own pattern design. So this is really customizable. Um, you know, for example, this color here, violet. I don't think I've ever used this color before, but hey, it sure has opened my eyes to violet. It looks beautiful with the peony and the bubble gum and the sherbet and the melon. They all work so well together. So this is a great time to kind of, you know, utilize all those colors, whatever brands, whatever colors you love. This is, and it's not really rainbow order, which is a little different for me, obviously, but I love it. Now this color right here is Concord Night Stardust. And this one is Concord Night Buttercup, but all the rest are Simon's Stamp ink colors. I love that kind of, what do you call that stardust color? It's like a in between a green and an orange. And I love that dusty vibe mixed in with all these vibrants. I also used two browns. I did latte and cappuccino. That's what I just stamped right there. And you know what, surprisingly, I absolutely love mixing in the warm browns with these vibrant tones. It kind of balances out the warmth and the vibrancy, like just I don't know, something about it's tickling my fancy. Here's another one, Lucky. Who would have thought, but it works. Okay, so working my way through this geo flower abstract design. Now, some might think this is a little too tedious. It's a little time consuming. I did have to clean and reposition this semicircle 24 times. But if you ask me, it was 100% worth it. I had a giddy old time. Like, I love this. Might not be something you want to mass produce, although you could, if you took the time to trim out a bunch of panels of white cardstock, you could slip in your panel each time you've got your semicircle in place, stamp a few at once. You know, you could do it that way if you want to take the time. But it's not a quick card, but it's a fun card. Yes, yeah, so 24 different stamped semicircles. This is really why I got into the biz right here. The bare bones stamping. I just love it. You know, and I love die cutting. I really do. But stuff like this brings me back to the joy of stamping. It really does. Okay, so there you have the completed. You could do more, but I wanted to stop because I knew I'd want a nice cropped edge and border for my you know, standard size card. So I'm trimming this down uh, just to get an even border around the edge. I put foam tape on the back, popping it up on a white card base. I'm gonna keep it really, really simple for a sentiment. 
This is one of those reverse friendship sentiment strips. And a lot of times I use my, uh, what are they called? Sentiment strip label dies. But lately I've been pulling out this little mini guillotine and I find I can get just as quick, straight results with this little mini guillotine. It really allows you to see exactly where you're gonna cut and the guide kind of helps you with spacing. And then I'm gonna put a little foam tape on the back of the sentiment strip always pulling out that little positively, what do you call that? Everything T-square. Got my tweezers, lining it up, getting it straight. I'm not gonna add any embellishments. I just feel like it doesn't need it. Although you could add a few clear, a little shimmer, but uh, I'm keeping it simple. Hello friend. You could put swap it out for happy birthday. Hooray, congratulations, thank you. All the occasions are going to work for this beautiful geometric design. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.